Ahoy there cruisers and welcome back to Cruise with Ben and David. We're in the Netherlands and the beautiful city of Rotterdam. So what are the cube houses David? So the cube houses are an innovative architecture design of houses that look like they have cubes plonked on top of them. That's my official and architectural description. So unofficial maybe, not official. Okay. The cube houses are a set of innovative built houses in Rotterdam designed by architect Piet Blom and based on the concept of living as an urban roof. Oh, how exciting. With high density housing. So we're gonna figure out first how the hell we get there. Uh-oh, is that rain? Uh-oh. If it's gonna bloody rain again, I won't be happy, I won't Don't be happy worry. with Rotterdam. I have the brolly ready to go. You've got the brolly ready to go. One swift movement. Oh, Metro. Metro where? There. Oh yeah. So guys, you can see how quick the Metro station is, hello. You can see how qu how close the metro station is to the actual port. It's literally a 30 second walk. So it's just there. It looks like the McDonald's Golden Arches. It's very swish. We're loving the uh, metro stations down in the Netherlands. I know. I feel like going to an airport or something, don't you? It's very cool. Oh, it's quite a long way, isn't it, as well? Hence the walking... Hence the travelators. The travelator or the moving wake walk. Wake walk? Walk wake. Walk quick. Wake walk walk quick. Walk quick. I don't know what you're talking about. So, let's see if we can figure out how to buy some tickets. Do you know what to do? No. <laughs> Where's the button? Nearly what? So go, it tells you in English. How often do you travel? Oh. English. English. It doesn't work. It's Lord. It's gotta be Lord. That means Lord. Yeah, it's Lord. Nearly never. Nearly never. The machines are too complicated for us, aren't they, David? Wait, yeah. Like it says you have to have a special card. Oh, is there a person there? Oh my David. It took us a while. It took us like 15 minutes to figure it out. Yep, so you need... You just need a disposable ticket, that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh gosh, this looks complicated, guys. Well... Oh, it worked! Yeah, you, you literally just tap it. <laughs> that was so difficult. <laughs> I was like, oh, we live in London. We'll figure it out. Now. We'll figure it out. No. no, we didn't figure it out, guys. No, it's it was quite really complicated. complicated. Oh, well, we're on our way now. Let's go explore the city. Well, guys, so we made it. So it only costs three, eight, three, three euros 80. Three euros 80 for a return. Quite cheap. And you can use it for two hours. You've got two hours. So can we use it anywhere? Or? Anywhere for two hours for 380. Or you can buy a day pass for eight euros for the entire day. That's really good, isn't it's it? It's definitely a tiny network, so... Very good, so let's go. I'm not sure where we're going, but we're going... To... The cube houses. The cube houses. <laughs> so, David, we're here at Black Station, and this is where the cube houses are. Still no sign of rain, which is good. The cube houses are located in Overblack Street, right above the Black Subway Station, where we are now. There are 38 small cubes and two larger super cubes. Sweet. <laughs> it's really cool though. The cube houses were designed in 1977 in a plan of 55, of which 39 were eventually built. Oh, this is bigger than our first flat in London. It is. This isn't that bad. It's really this cool. This is really cool. I almost feel like I'm in a tree house. Yeah, it's really strange. I can see myself cooking here. You've got a great view out the window though. Look at the views. Tea. Looking like literally so. vertically down. I'd be terrified if I had the windows open. What if like you knock something and it's just gone? Yeah, you knock something out the window, that would be quite funny. Should we go up the other Let's set go. of stairs? There's two more floors, yeah. So there's two more floors. Oh, got a bedroom. That's so cool. Reminds me of like a space house. <laughs> like some of the jet centers live in or something. Like or something you say at Epcot. It's, cool, it's really it? cool. It's quite big, isn't it? I've got a bathroom there. A bathroom in the middle. Let's go around these stairs. We've even got a door there. That's very cool. Wow. You can see down into the floor below. Let's do it. Look at the views. Yeah. 
So guys, that was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's three euros to go have a look around the shore house. We will say though, you need to be able to get up a lot of tight stairs. Yeah, a lot very of tight spaces. steep as well. But if you do get the chance, only three euros each. You have a quick look around. It's really, really quirky. Cool. It's really, I'm really glad we got to have a look inside. Yeah, me too. And they're it's just like unusual. normal houses, aren't they? Yeah, they really, really are normal cool. houses. So everything is like normally as upright. As it is, it's just the actual houses which are all sort yeah. of lopsided and cube shaped. It's kind of like being in a loft basically, I think. Yeah, and I really like the top roof area. It was like a conservatory with loads of windows around. It was so cute and I can imagine it being so nice like on a night. Yeah. Just sitting up there and watching the city. Do you know what? I've actually seen some of these on Airbnb. Have you? Yeah, so if you ever wanted to stay in one, check out Airbnb to see if you can stay in one. Oh, I'm really glad we came. Are you? Right, let's head off and explore the rest of Rotterdam. Rotterdam! Let's go! Fabulous. Market Hall Rotterdam is a huge indoor market and is open seven days a week. You'll find over 100 market booths with fresh vegetables, fish, flowers, plants and loads more. This is really cool guys, it's a really cool market. It's got fruit, cheeses, meats, loads of places to eat, loads of places to snack. You've got big brand names and you've got the little cafes as well, which is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. It's housed in a really cool building. Yeah. It's like, like a big dorm, really. It's huge. It's pretty awesome. It looks it's like a so train cool. station. After a great day in Rotterdam, we're missing the ship, so let's get back. Okay, David, should we get back on, do you think? I think it's time for some lunch. It's lunch o'clock. It is, so we've had a lovely day here in Rotterdam. Thank God it hasn't rained. I think it like it spat a little bit for a yeah, few minutes. It looks dull, but, but it's, it's not that bad. It's actually quite warm, isn't it? It's very it is, humid. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to get back on board, get some lunch, and then we're going to chill out for the rest of the afternoon. We've got a really exciting day coming up. Also, mm. we've got Chops Grill for dinner tonight. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, yeah, so we're going to the speciality steak restaurant. Yes, yeah, so we pre-booked that, so it was not too bad. It was, I think it was like £55 for the two of us. It was really good. Come on then, let's go. Well ahoy there guys, so we're now off to Chops Grill. So excited for our meal tonight. We absolutely love the steakhouses on board. Oh, and act, and we're gonna go see Take That, uh, a tribute band as well. So that should be really fun as well. So come with us for the rest of the night. We're gonna have a really good time. So cheers to our last night cool. guys. This is it. It's so gonna be our last meal on the, on the ship. It's very sad. <laughs> I never got ready, so I'm still wet from the shower. That's what she said. <laughs> Guys, so we're in Chops Grill, which is one of the speciality restaurants on board. It's the American Steakhouse, and the menu looks absolutely delicious. The menu looks so good. I don't know what to have. I like all of the sides. Like, every one of the sides looks really delicious. So, guys, there's also an extensive wine menu as well. So, you've got sparkling wines and champagnes, and a huge amount of white rosé and red wines as well. So, there's loads to pick from. Sorry if it's wobbling a little bit, the ship's vibrating a little bit and I can see it's wobbling there. Oh, it was David actually, not the ship. Be our guest. Be our guest. Be our service to the test. Join us in part two of Beauty and the Beast, where you'll be the special guest at Chop's Grill. And there's partying late into the night. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy cruising.